construction of the Zhangjiang Science Hall was completed last year, and this year it is one of the site venues for the AI conference. Eight AI application scenarios are being showcased here, featuring the latest products and services in the industry. If you are going to visit the metaverse, you are going to have an avatar. These cameras around me are going to capture images of my face from all angles, then convert them into a 3D asset that can be viewed from any direction in just 15 seconds. Check out my very first avatar. What do you think? Our avatar collecting device is equipped with 27 cameras, which is going to capture 27 pictures of the individual. We have also got a bigger one at our corporation for the full body scanning. We are trying to reduce technical defects of the images in maximum extent. And I'm not tapping the air. By using optical reconstruction technology, a 3D image will be generated in front of me so that I can touch it and also zoom in and out. The device will be used in public places such as banks, schools, and hospitals. Everything will be able to be controlled in a non-contact mode, which helps reduce chances of cross-infection and improves public health and safety. In a metaverse, a user can be just about anywhere. It's rather difficult to show virtual reality to a camera, but if you look at this tablet, you can get an idea of how virtual space works. With a full VR kit, the user can take a walk on the moon or travel through a tropical rainforest. All of the data is run by cloud computing. The three-dimensional models are overlaid on top of the real scenes. This space measuring technology helps calculate the perspective layers and distances of each object, even the lighting matches. Some of these AI application scenarios will stay on display here at the Science Hall after the conference concludes on Saturday, so residents will be able to see how some of these cutting-edge technologies are changing our lives.